Okay, Mark, let me show you what the final result is of our survey funnel, where what we want to do is not only capture the answers that the people give, we want to calculate a total score for all of their answers to store that in the database of the consumer, so put it right into the contact profile. So they're going to have the score, they're going to have their answers, they're going to have the tier that we're going to calculate them to be on of the three tiers that we have. And then it's also going to store a URL for the page that their results will be on so that we can put then into an email the score, the, uh, the tier, and the URL so they can access it there as well as uh, being able to access it at the end of the survey itself. So let's just go through the survey and we'll just uh, hit some numbers here and then we're going to calculate the score. We're going to put in an email address and click sign up. Then bring us to the next page where it's going to tell us what our overall score was 13 and then here is where you'd have your analysis of what that 13 means. So let me just show you an overview of how this works. Here are the five funnel steps involved. And when somebody has their information stored into the database, this is what the information will look like. First, you're going to have the questions and the answers. Then you're going to have the total score, their tier, and the URL for that tier. Obviously, this is not the same person as I just ran through as I had this done earlier. And then we're going to set up under our automations uh, we're going to set up an email and in the email we're going to put in our merge tags so that this information will populate into the email and then in the end the email will have that information populated into it of course you put in your verbiage however you want it here to explain what this means and then there will also be a link that is clickable that will take them back to the page where again it will have uh, here here it will have to give a range on the score because we can't actually pass the score through with it and below that it will have again the results and the um, what those results mean so there you go I think we finally got it set up the way we want it to be and if you got any questions just reach out to me